Hi everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video we'll explore how to implement battery request processing in Apache API 6 and look at uh, some use cases where it can be beneficial. My name is Babur and I am a developer advocate for Apache API 6. Here's the agenda for today. We'll talk about what is a batch request processing and when, why to use it. And uh, we show you real world examples for batch request processing. And at the end, I will show you in the demo how you can do, achieve this batch request processing with Apache API 6 API Gateway. Batch request processing is powerful technique used in web development to improve the performance of APIs. It allows us to group multiple API requests into single HTTP request response cycle. In other words, a single API request from a client can be turned into multiple API requests to a set of backend servers, let's say, and then responses are aggregated into a single response while when we are responding back to the client it can significantly reduce the number of round trips between the client and the server suppose you have a social media application that displays a user's feed which includes posts from their friends and pages they follow to populate this feed you need to make a multiple api request to retrieve the necessary data such as you first drive a list of user friends and the pages they follow and next request for each friend or page you can retrieve their recent posts uh, in a traditional approach you would perform each of these api requests separately right where as example we have a mobile application that displays a list of products for users to browse to populate this list you need to make a multiple api requests to retrieve the product data from a remote server such as you send a request to retrieve the list of products ids and for each product id you get a product details such as name description image etc in this demo we also consider a typical scenario imagine that you have a web application for conference management where there are multiple speakers in the system you want to display a speaker sessions and related topics on a single web page the backend conference api service has two different endpoints call it like slash sessions and slash topics to expose this information to show both sessions and topics belong to a single uh, speaker you can send a two requests from the front-end application which is not an ideal solution as we are understood instead you can use api gateway to group all of these requests into single http requests as we are going to explain and implement this approach in the next section to implement the batch request processing in api 6 you can use batch request plugin this plugin allows you to find a set of api requests in a single http post request payload as you can see each request have its own http method and url path a set of uh, headers and payload and response and uh, see the call request command below on the postman we are sending two requests in the pipeline to speakers and topics and once we run and send this request we are getting two responses uh, merged from conference api request result before you can use a batch request plugin you need to install apache p6 in my case i am using docker and i run the docker containers with docker compose there are many other ways of bringing apache p6 uh, up and running once apache p6 installed you can run few uh, requests against uh, admin api of apache api 6 uh, in my case i am creating first upstream and creating the route for the public api endpoint that accepts the batch request and on and step three i am creating another route to intercept the request coming to slash topics and slash sessions and I also i am rewriting the dns uh, hostname address of, of conference api using proxy rewrite when a batch request received by api 6 the batch request plugin will parse the payload and execute each request in the batch in parallel the plugin will also aggregate responses from each request and return them in a single http response to the client let's see next uh, in the demo section to learn how to achieve this with three steps 
First, you will need to configure the backend service for Confluence API that you want to route requests to. This can be done by adding an upstream server in Apache API 6 uh, through the admin API. As you can see, I'm uh, running this uh, curl command against admin API uh, with a single node, and I'm ex requesting the Confluence API via secure HTTPS uh, call. Next, we need to create a new route that intercepts request to slash speaker URI and exposes a public virtual endpoint for batch processing using public API plugin. You can read more about public plugin on APS documentation, but as you can see, the URI API 6 slash batch requests accepts all batch requests coming from the client. Third step, we create yet another route for speakers, topics, and sessions endpoints. And that shows that individual requests ex extracted by the API gateway from batch requests to retrieve the speaker's topics and, or the sessions are forwarded to the responsible conference uh, API uh, as we are referencing uh, by, by the idea of existing upstream service. If I take this command and uh, run in the terminal I will get another OK response from admin API and as you can see also here we are using proxy rewrite plugin uh, in this case this plugin specifying implicitly host address of conference API otherwise API gateway can make a DNS conversion or request conference API by this IP address that's why it's kind of uh, optional things that you can enable this uh, plugin Next and final step, we can test our batch request processing. Here's an example as we started at the beginning of the video, uh, how we can use batch request plugin in API 6. We are sending two requests to the uh, API 6 API gateway and by specifying passes, your passes as you can see by giving a speaker ID. This uh, post request uh, will start to execute the batch, batch requests and then it will go first uh, slash speaker which is route A and it starts to search for public endpoint for batch request processing and the plugin behind the scene will make a calls to another second route B uh, separately two times like two, one is for slash topics, one is uh, slash sessions. And then these requests, uh, I mean the boss request will be forwarded to this upstream service, in our case, conference API. If you uh, take this command, uh, you should get uh, pretty much the same output as we received at the beginning of the video. As you can see, we are getting a long response, uh, consists of two, uh, results, uh, speakers topics and speakers sessions. Next steps, you can customize this batch request plugin configuration, like can uh, specify a maximum body size, or you can also filter out the response coming from two endpoints by using a responsive write plugin to get some uh, needed response or filter out some unnecessary the fields from the JSON body. Here's the takeaways from this tutorial. Batch request processing with API Gateway can be a life-changing technique for improving the performance of your API. And API 6 provides a dedicated plugin called the Batch Requests that allows us to implement this batch request processing easily. The Carl Commons examples I showed in the video tutorial, you can find on YouTube description, uh, where there is also blog posts you can read to get more idea around a batch request processing. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Apache API 6, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos.